Hi, I'm making another vlog. Okay, now I'm wearing my glasses because, like, I guess I'm nearsighted, so, like, I need them for, like, TV because I can't see things very well that are far away, but, like, close up I can. So, like, my TV and movies and stuff, I need a, my glasses. I'm just wearing them because I was watching TV earlier. But, alright, so now I need to show you something that I've never shown you, ever. Well, I mean, I have showed you in different videos, but not like cubing related related videos. So let me show you what I'm about to show you. This is what I want to show you. It's my cat. See, that's my cat. It's cool. It's a Siamese cat. See? You can sort of see it. That's my cat. It's tired, so I guess it's like taking a nap or whatever. So yeah, that's what I want to show you, my cat. Alright, there's one more thing that I really need to show you. It, I made a Siamese cube. It's very cool and it works well. I made it all by myself. It took like, it's really cool. It's easy to make. And I think you should make one because... It's like the easiest thing, like cube things that you can make. Super easy. Took like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, something like that. It's pretty quick. It's very cool. I think you should make it. And the thing is, I don't know how to solve it yet. It's pretty hard to solve it. I've tried a lot and I can't. So if you know, if like you have a video of how to solve a Siamese cube, then like send it to me or something. Send a link, post it in the comment box below, or whatever. It just, I don't know how to solve it, and I would like to know how to solve it. But, yeah, I mean, I got, like, almost a side, except this last piece. Don't have it yet. Almost have a side. And, yeah. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, it's nice, really. Um, cube. It's easy to move. I recommend that you make one because it's very easy. It doesn't cost a lot of money to get the material to do it. All you need is like sandpaper, um, some uh, glue, like Gorilla Glue or like Loctite. So some kind of super glue. Glue it together. And so yeah. And you need two cubes. I bought some bad Rubik's brand cubes from the store. So yeah, you should make one. They're cool. Um, and also I am pretty excited because I have one more PLL to go, so I know full PLL. So I know two look PLL and I know um almost full PLL. So just one more G perm and then I'm finished. Just like I have, I get mixed up between all the G perm mutations. So like I'll see one and I'll I think I'm doing the other one, and I do the algorithm for a different key permutation, and then I mess everything up, and I, and I get confused a lot, so, so if you have a video on that, you can also post it in the box below, for comment, do a video of how I not get, like, confused, or, I don't know, but whatever. Alright, I have one more question for you guys, so, like, sort of like a poll, so just comment the answer in the comment box below. Hello. So, the question is, what do you like better, PLL or OLL? Or do you even use Friedrich method? Do you use, like, Lars Petrus or something? Like, if you don't use Friedrich method, tell me what method you use. But my question is, what do you like the most, PLL or OLL? For me, it's definitely PLL. Okay, I guess that's it for today. Bye. Bye.